Okay, so this is Solasta, Crown of the Magister. Uh, there was a thing that popped up the first time I loaded this, which said this is de this is an alpha. Don't this is not final. Don't take this as final. So I'll just repeat it here since it's not showing up again. This game is a uh, RPG game based on the D and D five point e rule set or five point one. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, so property of Wizard of the Coast, Inc. So it is actually using the game license for D&D, which is pretty cool. Oh, it actually has a, uh, it's actually opened a thing here for like, game con content, alignments, uh, actions, damages, that sort of thing. So it actually gave me a little thing when I pushed on the game content button there. So let's, let's go into, I guess I need to do character creator first, right? Let's create a new character. So I am not actually that familiar with the Dungeons and Dragons 5e rule set. I played in 3.5 and Pathfinder, which is just a 3.5 extension. I kind of, I tried out 4e, didn't really feel it. And then that's pretty much as far as my D&D experience went. Uh, I do have a minor amount of experience with 5th edition because I tried out like a play test for it and played in like small games once or twice, but I don't have any kind of mastery of the system. Let's see, high elf, sub race, or the sylvan elf. Human is human, hill dwarf or snow dwarf, half elves, marsh halfling, island halfling. Let's try making a, let's just go bog standard human. Human dude, whatever, that works. So this human dude is gonna be a, how about a paladin? Class features, gives you different class features going on here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just not familiar with the specifics of the inner workings of the system. Like I know D20 systems, I just don't know like how the class progressions work, how like various rules like long rest, short rest, um, spell casting systems, that sort of thing. I don't know like the intricate details of 5e. I just know the sort of general specifics. The general specifics, the generalized rules that are sort of, that would have been carried over. All right, uh, let's see, let's, I can edit equipment. I can change my preferred weapon if I want to be a different kind of paladin. I can use a longsword shield or greatsword battle axe or club or javelin. Oh, look at that, it's pretty neat. Not gonna do any fiddling with that. But actually, let's, let's try it out. Let me switch this over to greatsword and battle axe combo. So I have two weapons, it looks like. Instead of having longsword and shield on my character model, I'm holding a greatsword. For the javelin, I can change that for a club. I have a holy symbol amulet, which I can't get rid of. Priest pack or explorer's pack. Interesting. All right, and I have my selection of deities here. I bet if I went to cleric, no, you still only have selection of these four deities. I was thinking Paladin would be restricted because of the lawful good restriction, but... Okay, Fighter has a different background. It doesn't get... It looks like it doesn't get God Selection. So, Aaron is Primordial God of the Elements. Oh, there isn't a lawful good restriction for Paladins? Huh. Okay. Let's see, uh, Einar, god of valor and fidelity. Maraik, goddess of life and death. And Pakri, god of law, goddess of law and knowledge. So let's go with Einar. It's gonna be a good old, yeah, smite evil paladin. Let's see, what's your background? Two passions growing up, history and magic. Spent life in the surface of a temple to a specific god, aristocrat. Ah, okay. Lawkeeper, low life philosopher. A sellsword or a spy? How about a low life who rose up to become a, 
uh, paladin. Personality flags. Egoism. Kindness and, I guess, caution. Yeah, he found God, eventually. Let's make him lawful good. Authority, altruism. Personality flags. Authority, and I already have kindness, so let's go with uh, altruism. Ah, lawf lawfulness and altruism. Oh, that's that's cool. I like that. I really like that. So you can either go with a, an array of points. You can go for point by. Or you can reroll the dice. That's super cool. I, I love that. And you can drag these down to wherever you want them. Well, just for funsies, let's do this. Just cause, <laughs> just cause, it's an option. I wanna see what it looks like when I do this. But I love that, that's, that's a really nice detail. It gives something for everybody. You have point buy, you have the ability to change your point buy with the unlimited points mode, and you have dice rolls for subhumans who still like to use dice rolls for determining their stats, because God, I hate that. I don't have good memories of using dice rolls for stats. I have had characters, I had one character whose only positive modifier was his intelligence. At 11? Or 12? <laughs> So he had a plus one, which means he was able to be a wizard and do nothing. He was terrible. He was so much fun to play as, but also fuck dice rolling. Anyway, onwards. All right, so now I get my skills. Uh, athletics. Oh, I get to choose my class skills. Got it. I get thieves tools because I was uh, raised on the streets. It's got to be religion, right? Religion, let's see, I got insight, medicine, persuasion, or intimidation. He's pretty good at, I'm going to say that this guy is good at, he's good at insight because he's always keeping an eye out for things that might be going wrong for himself. That was one of his character flags, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. One of the character flags I picked was uh, he's always super cautious. Old Temerian. Let's go with Dwarf. Hmm. No, let me let me change that. I'm gonna go with Elvish. He seems like a guy who'd get along well with elves. Assholes. No, you get along better with uh, halflings. Yeah, you get along better with halflings because they're all thieves. Every single one of them. And now I get to uh, make my character up. So I got three different pre-builts here to work with. Huh, wait a second. I have different face choices depending on my pre-built. And my skin complexions are different. Oh, interesting. So these origins, the origins aren't like normal pre-mades where it's like you start here as a base and then you kind of go from there. These ones are Mason Drayson. Hell yeah, that's a name. The origins are actually like ethnicities. So they severely restrict what you can actually pick for the other stuff. Not the hair though. <laughs> but face and skin complexion actually get affected by that. He seems like the kind of asshole who'd have this kind of hair. No. He's not going to have a beard. That doesn't suit him. Slider all the way up. Nothing. And, oh, you can just write in your backstory. Or not. Not. 
I feel like I should be able to write in something here. Oh, oh there it is. Mason Drayson had a good day when his life was turned around around by Prayson. Godson sends something down to Mason and he became a paladin of sun. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's go on a new adventure here. Um, I guess I'm not going on an adventure with Mason Drayson. Ruins of Telema has a starting level of three, so let's go. The Ruins of Telema. The, to strengthen your friendship with the scavengers, you have agreed to help them. Runnel, one of their men, returned wounded from the archaeological site of Telema in the Badlands. Find out what happened and earn some goodwill from Runnel's fellow adventurers. So these are the ruins of Telema? Just as the Chronicles describe them! Imagine the wonders that await us inside! Don't forget, we're here to help the scavengers. And God, you're rich, ugly. Right? Help the scavengers and get rich. You're all hard, aren't you? That must be their camp over there. Come on, let's go. The faces uh, really remind me... I'm getting like real Dragon Agey kind of vibes from the faces. Select your character by clicking on them in the 3D viewer. Drag a rectangle to select more than one. Double click on a portrait to lock on one specific character. Uh, moving characters, left click destination. What is this? I don't know. Why is that blurred out? What is that? I don't... Why is that blurred out? Oh, wait a second. Is this a... Oh, I think Who it's a... Who uh... there? Friends. Ronald sent us. Where is he? Resting. He was in pretty bad shape. But he'll be okay. He said you need help. We did. If only you'd come sooner. <laughs> we could go back. <laughs> Okay, so I see how it works now. They have... So the characters have voices, but they have voices and the personalities determine what their actual lines are in each situation. So there's probably like a hidden flag for each situation, which triggers off the personality traits and says, you know, this is blah, blah, blah. We, we're here now. Or what happened is like, I care about you. Or we're here now is we're getting the job done. Or we could go back, which is kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm good for myself. Interesting. Very interesting. I, this is cool. All right, let's, uh, let's go. We could go back. Well, if we're too late, maybe we should just go back. Yes. Well, maybe you should. Oh. Never mind, Deck. He's upset, that's all. Upset? Why should I be upset? We're just waiting here to die, that's all. We can't leave Hector in there. He's dead, Lena. Dead. It's too late. You don't know that. Why don't you just kill each other and save the orcs some trouble? What's our help worth to you, anyway? Stop it. All right. What did Runnell tell you? Just that his team needed help. Nothing else. We were scavenging in the ruins and... Orcs. There's a whole tribe in there. It was just a raiding party. We fought them off, but they killed some of our people and dragged Hector off. And we've just been waiting here for them to come and finish the job. They haven't done that yet, though. Well, you're right about your friend. He must be dead by now. We don't know that. There's always hope. Hope? Those orcs had him for dinner the first night. I don't know. They took him alive after all. So they wanted to keep him fresh. Orcs are orcs. Ignore them. So, 
We just need to go in and find Hector. Yeah, good luck with that. Why is he so angry? He and Hector don't exactly get along. But he's one of our crew, and I won't leave anyone behind. We gave our word to your leaders. We will get Hector back. Thanks. Do you need food? You think we'll be away for that long? You can never be too careful. That's the law of the Badlands. We can spare some if you need it. We have more than we need for just the two of us. Are you serious? You're giving away our food? They're risking their lives for us, Deck. For Hector. We can starve, apparently. Wow, what an asshole. The rescuers get the food. Get it? I don't believe it. That's on you, Lena. Don't worry. That's just the way he is. Thanks, Lena. We should get moving and find your friend. Thanks, and good luck. All right, so what do we got here? We got a fighter, we got a rogue, a cleric, and a wizard. A wizard. All right. Move this controller out of the way because now it's not being used. Ah. There we go. Oh, I got a, I got a twenty on that. Cool. I didn't think uh, skill checks could crit. Oh, interesting. And there's a timer. Like an actual daylight timer down here. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, inventory management. Your characters can carry up to five times their strength before becoming encumbered. Each item has a weight. Some items, like arrows, can be stacked in a single inventory slot, but their weight still adds up. Check your encumbrance gauge when looting equipment. If a character is moving slowly, check they are not carrying too much. Click and hold your right mouse button, moving. Uh, yeah, okay. Huh. So, is there another way to get down there? Looks like it. Okay, it's a little weird how things keep clipping in and out like that. Cast the spell. Oh, that's cool. All right, now what? She's she's stuck up here by herself. Or not. I didn't realize there was a way to get down. Alright, so where are we going then? Can I get over to here somehow? Oh, I guess they can jump the gap, right. Try not to stare. You're making that statue uncomfortable. But it's... Can you read this? Never had the benefit of an imperial indoctrine... I mean, education. That's Emperor Gildin III. How do you know? It's written here. For those who can read it. Well, that's nice for you, I'm sure. His was a very ancient dynasty. Look at his date of birth. And location. Wait, I gotta copy this. The tower will find this interesting. Are you done? Okay, what's your intelligence? It's inventory. Your intelligence is 12, so you're not an idiot. In fact, the cleric's the dumb one. Huh. I was not expecting that. Equipment shortcuts. You can use shortcuts to switch your equipment. You have three weapon configuration shortcuts by default. Last shortcut is your light shortcut. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So I guess probably her. Cast spell. Does she have light? Level one. Firebolt. Light. Okay, can I... What? Where, where are you going? Oh, she was going down there. Okay. Oh, there's a chest! Oh, this area is big. Can I cast it on this? Oh! She's casting it on her wand. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that! Okay, okay. So now she's the light source for the party. That's pretty sick. I like that. A battle starts! The Badland Spider has rolled initiative. Ooh, those are actually... The, mm. All right. Uh, during battles, you can move your camera around. Rotate the camera the same way as you do during exploration. Character way for a specific condition to be met. Crown of Magic, you can ready an attack depending on your character, this equipment, and abilities. Alright, so Spider's going first. Nice. Is this grid based? It is grid based. It's grid turn based. Oh my god, this is good. Okay. So you are probably going to take an attack. Hmm. Hold person, scorching ray. I'm low on slots, so I might be worth shocking grasping this spider here. Oh, that did not. It did one damage? Okay, then. Um, then I'll move here. Oh, yep, there's an attack of opportunity, as expected. Ooh, crit miss! Hell yes! Alright, she has no. Other actions. He, I think, is better off smacking this spider right here. What powers does he have? Uh, no, that's just regain health. Nice. Ooh, that's spicy. Let's do an attack on this one. That's a dead spider. Good. Let's do a little thing here. My right, cleric is going to smack this spider up. Damn it. Hmm. Healing word, not worth it. Shield of faith, not worth it. I'll just move here to flank and end turn. 15 is a miss. Wow. Wait. Oh, he hit with a 19. Okay. All right, how about you cast? Let's cast another Shocking Grasp. Oh, I see, wait. Hold all for more info. This does 1d10 fire damage. This one does 1d8 electrical damage and shocks. So that's why it didn't get the reaction off. 
So I'm going to shock this one again. Nice, nice. End the turn. Move here and smash it. Seriously? Action surge. No, I gotta wait for that one. That one's too useful. There we go. Alright, attack the spider. Hmm. Strike with an additional dash by spending a channel divinity use. Do it! Huh. Did I not? Oh, it's saved against an effect. I see. Yeah, block it. Firebolt! I did it! Found... Beat a bunch of spiders. Taking a short rest. Short rests are a useful way to recover while exploring a dungeon. You can do so whenever you're far away from an enemy, though this may be impossible in a very hostile location. Party must be all together. Alright. After short rest, characters can spend hit dice to recover hit points. Heroes have one hit dice per level. Once they are spent, you need a long rest to get them back. You can spend all or part of your hit dice after a short rest. What's Ritual? Ah. Okay, detect magic and identify our rituals. Got it. Aha! Uh -huh. The orcs are here. Looks like we can sneak around. Even me? Uh, probably. Did you see Hector? Not a trace. We should attack. We have the element of surprise. But what if Hector's down there too? I hear some orc tribes can be bartered with. Not these orcs. You sure about that, bud? Cautious mode. Activating cautious mode can make you move slower, but it grants you two benefits. You pay extra attention to hidden objects for traps, and you move with stealth. Alright, so can I... Can I get you to dismiss your light spell? Like, that's normally what you do. You normally hide... Oops. There we go. Because normally when you cast a light spell, you either cover it up with like a burlap cloth when you don't need it anymore, or do the same thing with like a never burning torch or something, or you uh, dismiss it if it's a spell you can dismiss, which I guess it isn't in this case. All right, so let's cautious mode everybody. Hmm. Was that an interactable block just now? It is. Okay, I gotta wait for this. Uh, is it gonna land on that one or this one? Guess it's gonna land on. Well, let's see if someone moves right here first. I think this one is gonna move there in a second. Alright. Oh, well, I guess battle starts. Round one. I was expecting that to kill the guy, not do 11 damage and not kill him. <laughs> I 
I have advantage on the attack. Sick. Hmm. I can move here, I think. And then I should be able to use the cunning action to dash. And get behind cover here. And... I think that should cover it, right? Yeah, that, that seems good. Oh, come on. Really? 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 Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go punch this orc. Uh, let's do an action surge. Get a main action. And attack this orc. Oh my god, are you serious? I was rolling with disadvantage. Alright, casting a spell. How about... It's only got 15 health. This one is going to do 1d4 plus 1, as it does. This is 2d6s. I guess I'll just do this. <sighs> Seriously? I guess I'll move here to keep with the group. This is going to be bad. Oh, this is going to be real bad. Huh. There's a thing... Uh, attacks guard with a javelin and misses. How about casting a spell? What do I have? Oh, she's got Scorching Ray too. Huh. All right, so let's see. I'm going to hit you with one. You with one. Damn, boy. You know what I really wish I had? Some kind of whirlwind attack. Some kind of whirlwind attack style thing would be real handy right now. Or, oops. Okay, that works too. Block that. Got him. Let's see, attack this one or attack the one that's almost dead. I'll attack this one. Critical failure. Sick. Alright, let's go. Scorching Ray. Okay, w one here. Two here. And... Can I hit this one? No, he's got total cover. Uh, I guess just to make sure he's dead. Sick. Alright, that one's coming up now. Perfect. Let me cast a... Guiding Bolt. Nice. Th thanks for nothing.
You know, it's times like this. You just cast magic missile at the thing in the darkness. Did it. Alright, now what the hell is this whole stuff? Silver pieces and an orc great axe. Ooh, yeah, of course it does a d12. Why wouldn't it do a d12? Um, this is 1d8. It's a d12. Kind of wish the looting wasn't quite so... Eh. Okay, how do I... There we go. Select all. Let's get down here open that chest up. Ooh, there's another chest up there I didn't even see. How about that? Crossbow bolts. Arrows. I'll give those to you. A torch. Gold. Ration pouches. An unidentified potion, which I'll give to you. A magnificent shield. I'll give that to you as well for the moment. And some magnesium, which I'm pretty sure goes to the wizard as well. Alright, let's go up here and grab this thing now. Oh, I see. You could have waited. You could have had people waiting on all sides of this place to open this stuff. Uh, sometimes you'll come across superb items. It's going to be blah, blah, blah. Detect magic. Identify. Okay. Cast his rituals. Got it. Crossbow bolt. Uh, torches. Rations. And an orc plaque. Alrighty, so... That was everything in the chest, right? Yeah, I wish it mentioned it was empty or looted. Let's get to you. Ritual up. Let's detect some magic. Party is waiting for ten minutes. Magic detected. And now identify... She Ooh, a plus one shield? Yeah, that's something. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll take that gladly. All right, anything else? I don't see anything else here to interact with. So, onwards. Everyone get over here. Gathering your party. Sometimes you will need to gather your team. Your party must ga you must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, I see. It's a gather party zone. Oh, yeah. While you're at it, switch back. So, no Hector? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe he's further down. All right. Let's keep looking. Into darkness. We can climb down. It's too dark. Too unstable, too. These blocks look like they could fall at any minute. There's some kind of black oil dripping from the ceiling. Maybe we can use it to light up the place. 
Uh, in Solasta, you explore deep and dark places without natural light sources. You can equip torches or cast light spells to reveal your environment to your whole group. You can ca light flammable items like torches on holders by interacting with them while holding a torch by casting a flaming spell on them like the cantrip Firebolt. Ah, oh, I see. So like this, and I can scroll down to go down. Neat. Alright, so let's go with you. You're going to cast Firebolt on this. Hmm, big old spooky room here, though. another one down there. Hmm. The uh, camera is a little awkward to control, not gonna lie. Let's get everyone down here. Oh. Ooh. All right, then. I noticed that trap a little too late, unfortunately. Let's get everyone over here, I guess. Did you guys all just fall down the pit? Explore use caution mode to increase your detection chance and look for a gear icon. Hmm. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. Trixie. Just cast firebolt over here to mark where I've been. How do you miss an inanimate object? Hmm. Looks like I got to get down there, huh? No! <laughs> okay, that one got me. The relevant crafting kit, knowledge, ingredients, and recipe, you can craft various items. Violet is provisioned with the herbalism kit and medicine. With the required ingredients, when she's learned the recipe, she can craft a potion of healing. Open the crafting interface in the character inventory and select the scroll of magic missile option. Violet will start by creating the magical ink using the ingredients and will then carefully write the scroll. This will take hours and she will use downtime during her travels to do so. Alright, so... Going into her inventory. Crafting! Up here. Scroll kit, not inventory. Herbalism kit, though. Oh, a scroll kit! I see, I just picked one up, that's why. Um, what is this? Crafting, scroll of magic missile. Yeah, loot all. Alright, crafting. Oh, is it because I need to... Read. There we go. Proficiency Magnesium, which I have plenty of. Angry Violet, which I think is this. Galvanth Amaranth, and the ability to cast Magic Mistle, which is a wizard. So, yes, I can do that. Check, check, check. Start crafting. Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, it opened that up. I kind of wish I could, like, they had a camera thing that zipped through walls better. Like that. It's not the best, but it's, it's something, I suppose. Oh, there's a chest over here. How do I get over there? Battle! Abort- Oh, more spiders. Oh, oh no. I hate spiders. Ugh. That hit. At least he rolled the fort save. Badland spider, attack! Where are the other two spiders? There's that one. Where's this one? Oh, it's behind the party. Ugh. I think he's actually in a good spot right now. Ooh, that's good damage. Is this a... what is this? Melee? Save to negate. Spare the dying. Light. Uh, range 12. Nice. Block this spider attack. Casting a spell. How about a shocking grasp? Okay, I'm going to have to move her up for this. Take a reaction from that spider. Yeah, nice. Worked out better than I expected, actually. Okay. Good, 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 good. Smack him. Seriously? Seriously? Even with disadvantage? Alright. Flaming Bolt! Nice. Right, what do we got here? Uh, okay, you do it then. You're a rogue. Money and a potion of healing. I'll put it there. Why not? Wounded. Be nice if I can move around while having... Oh, I can move around while having alt press. I just can't use the keys to do so. Okay, how about if I head over to this location, then? Damn it! Now we're stuck! Do you think the orcs would bring Hector farther in than this? Not the orcs, no. Something else. Maybe. We've come this far. Let's find him. I'm starting to think we might need that food after all. Good thing I picked it up then, huh? Uh, um, let's do a short rest. How do I do a rest? Uh, 
actually you could use one. Yeah, might as well. What is this? Oh! Party's low on health and spells. You can take a long rest. You're in a safe location if you have one food ration per character. Long rest heals all your hit points and recharges most of your powers, as well as giving you back half your maximum hit dice. Well, I guess I'm taking a long rest then, because the thing's right here. Pair of spells. Oh, so you can actually select your spells. Cool, cool. Magic missiles, a domain spell. Scorching rays, a domain spell. Lesser restoration, prayer of healing. All right. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then prepare spells here. Detect magic as a regular cast as opposed to a ritual. Mage armor and thunder wave. Alright, seems good. Everybody's all rested up. I got all my spells back. Let's go. Nope, don't want to do that. That would be a stupid thing to do. Spider nest. Oh, there's a map. Oh my god. Look at this That is super good Haha -ha. I love this There's a lot of presentation put into this game like just getting it all set up. It's super good. I love this Okay, uh right before I forget cast the light spell on this And uh, might as well cast a light spell on. Uh, put on a shield. Why not? There. Now we got two light boys. Huh. Good old ancient ruins. What is this? An amphitheater? A very special one. Not room for much of a crowd. Students of magic. The masters taught spells here. Do spiders like magic shows? Because I see a lot of webs. Deep spiders. We will have to be careful. Deep spiders? Very large and aggressive, but sensitive to light. Just how large is very large? Just keep your lights ready. The more light we have, the fewer spiders we'll face. We don't have a choice here. The only way out is up. Oh, well, uh, I can do that, so. Let's cast light on her shield. And cast light on his, I don't know, bow. Wait, can you only have one light spell active at a time? Damn it, you probably can. Yeah, you can definitely have one light spell at a time. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but I can cast Fireball on this thing, so that's something. Escape the spiders, it says. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Cool. Attack him! Alright, let's go. Um, Who goes first? That one went first. How about... 
Hmm, can't really see the spiders. Nice, nice. Let's have you just sit over here since it's close to the light. Oh, nice! They have a projectile attack. Lovely. Yeah, might as well get a free attack off on it. Wow, that didn't do much at all. <laughs> now let's attack this deep spider just to kill it off. Scorching Ray! One, two... Can I attack this one? No. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with this one here. Uh, decent damage, I suppose. It's damage, which is more than I can say for some things. <laughs> All right, let me move here. And attack this spider over here. Nine damage is good. Here we go. Firebolt. Scorching Ray, I should say. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. Okay. Okay, missed this one. But I hit two of them, which is good. Yeah, block it. Haha! -ha! Disadvantage. Alright, who's low? Kill this one off. And I guess I'll move over to here because it's a. Oops. Attack of opportunity, sure. That works. Scorching Ray. Hmm, got blocked. That's nice. Well, it's no longer in cover, so don't have to worry about that anymore. That's a benefit. What is going on there? Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Jeez. I got another cast of Scorching Ray, but I don't have enough Scorching Rays for all these spiders I'm dealing with. Hello, Nido. Welcome back. Jeez, really? Oh, and you failed on the save against the web? And I missed on that. Crap. Okay, what's good? Just attack this one. It's light disadvantage currently. Nice. Hmm. Magic Missile, Cure Wounds. I could hit this one right now. That might kill it. No, it's real close though. Damn it. 
disadvantage. Oh, good. Good. It's in range now. How much things have? Three? <laughs> What's the context for that? Like, one context could you possibly have for messaging that to somebody? Fucked up now, spider. Action surge, attack! Whew. It's rough. Oh, before I forget, you cast light on your own shield. There, now I do have actually two lights. Ooh. That was a little risky. Cast fire cantrip on this thing. There we go. I don't. Why is my camera locked here? What is going on? Something's wrong. Something is wrong. I don't know what's going on. Can I go back down maybe? Will that fix it? Okay, the camera seems to have been locked into something, so I'm going to have to save the game for a second, I guess, and restart it, maybe? Okay, can I save? Yes. Okay, so it's just a... Broke... Camera... So... Quit? I ain't done yet. There we go. Much better. Now I can actually play the game. There we go. Well done. You sure they're dead? Huh. <laughs> well, they're not coming back. Huh, <sighs> good. My friends, I believe I have found Hector. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. So that's uh that was Celesta, Crown of the Magister. So that game I actually really dug. It's basically I I'm a big sucker for the turn-based RPGs like Pathfinder Kingmaker with the mod and I guess the update. Uh same Wrath of the Righteous, I know shipping with one, Baldur's Gate 3, and now Celasta. There's also uh, Witchstone, but that's not even in Kickstarter yet. Like, I'm, I'm glad that there's a bunch of CRPGs that are coming out with turn-based combat and, like, grid stuff, as opposed to the old real-time with pause. Yeah. Yeah, so this game I would say definitely check out, because this one is the most... I'm not going to say it's fully polished. It is kind of janky in parts, like I got the bug there and then the facial animations and character models look a bit off. But for the most part, this one's really solid. So this one I am going to recommend checking out. But I think that is enough out of me for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more of the demos from PAX. Assuming that the PAX demo thing doesn't shut down, like, now or tonight. But yeah, def also check out the stuff on Steam. Like, there's a lot of games on there that I just, I looked at, but I didn't bother downloading because I didn't recognize it or it didn't catch me. But there, there's a lot of demos that are currently on Steam that you can just try out for PAX since there isn't a real PAX this year. So anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by, thanks for checking out the games with me, and uh, see you next time.